Hello, everybody. Today for our Friday feelings um, Friday story, feelings. <laughs> Joaquin picked out her book. Which book did you pick out, Joaquin? When Sadness is at Your Door. And it's by Ava Elland, but published by Random House in 2019. <sighs> to let us read about our feelings, because our feelings matter. So when sadness is at our door. Sometimes sadness arrives unexpectedly. Yeah, it does sometimes, doesn't it? It follows you around. Look at that. Sadness is right there. And sits so close to you, you can hardly breathe. Look at how close sadness is. That would be depressing. Wouldn't that be sad if sadness was that overwhelming on top of you? Mm -hmm. Hmm. You can try to hide it. Where are they trying to hide it? How are you trying in to, the cupboard. In the cupboard, trying to hide sadness. Can you hide sadness in the cupboard? No. I don't think that works. Nope. nope. But it feels like you've become sadness yourself. Everything she's doing, she's sad about. And it looks like she's watching everybody have fun. And she is just sad. Have you ever felt that way? About being sad? Yes. Yeah, I have too. Yes. Try not to be afraid of sadness. Give it a name. What's a name? Saying hello. Listen to it, ask where it comes from, and what it needs. Yeah, what does it mean? So it's reminding us that when we're sad, that's our ourselves, our yeah. body telling ourselves that there's something going on, and we can be curious about it and ask what it is that we need. If you don't understand each other, just sit together and be quiet for a while. Just sitting in your sadness, that's okay. Find something that you both enjoy, like drawing. drawing. Do you like drawing, Joaquin? Yeah, I drew a whole picture a couple of years ago. Yeah. That I added like three things. Listening to music or drinking hot chocolate. Doing some things you enjoy, right? Maybe sadness doesn't like to stay inside. Try letting it out sometimes. Inside, don't outside. Go outside. He's from um, Go for a walk through the trees. You can listen to their sounds together. Blah, 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 blah. Taking sadness on a walk. The whole world is sad because the background is just like yeah. blue. Yeah, blue. We talk about sadness being blue, don't we? Yes, but yeah. they're so stupid. Maybe all it wants to know is that it is welcome. And to sleep knowing it is not alone. When you wake up, it might be gone. Don't worry, today is a new day. So when sadness is at your door, did you know that even Jesus had a day where he, well, many days, but there was a day in the Bible that it talks about him crying. Did you know that? Jesus cries in the Bible. It's the shortest verse in the Bible. It just says Jesus wept which is another way of saying crying. Jesus wept. Only two words. Only two words, and it's a whole verse in the Bible. And it's a verse that tells us when Jesus saw the people he loved suffering and sad, it made him sad too. And so he cried. So it's okay when you cry. It's okay when you're sad. And what Jesus did and what we can do is we can pray, and we can trust that God's with us. So when we're hurting or somebody else we're hurting, or even when we don't know why we're sad, 
like our book teaches us, we can ask what's going on, be curious, maybe go on a walk or be quiet for a while or tell somebody. And then the next day comes and a new day is there. And God's given us that new day as well. Have you? So have you been sad sometimes, Joaquin? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been sad a lot. You've been sad a lot lately? A lot. Because there's a lot going on right now, isn't there? And we miss some of our friends in our school, and that makes us sad. But yeah, it makes me sad, too, not seeing people that I miss. And can we pray together? Yeah. Let's pray. And, and yawn, too. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you, thank you for, teaching me for teaching me it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be sad. That you were sad too. That you were sad too. And that you also are with me when I'm sad. That you also are with me when I'm sad. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. And for giving me feelings. And for giving me feelings. So that I can understand. So that I can understand what's happening to me. What's happening to me. Help me be curious. Help me be curious. So that I can be so who you be, made me to who be. You made me to be. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming to Friday Feelings. Bye. Thanks for joining us, Joaquin.